Can everybody hear me? Great. First and foremost, I would like to thank Patty for all the work she does. Patty, you truly save lives every day. I also want to thank you for pulling me out of my comfort zone by asking me to speak today. I am truly honored. Hello, my name is Sharice, and my brother died of a heroin overdose. It took me months upon months to say those words to anyone who would ask how Stevie died. Not because I was ashamed of my brother, because I never for one second felt that way about him, ever. When people asked, I would respond by saying, why does it matter? He's gone and that's all you need to know, dirty luck included, to make them feel like the biggest jerk for asking in the first place. And it worked. My thoughts at the time were, if you weren't close enough to me, him, or my family, it was none of your business. And how dare you? I thought I was protecting him by doing this, but I was so wrong. One in three homes in the US are affected by addiction. Visualize the street you live on, and every third home is living in pure hell. When I got to a place where I could fully admit that Stevie died of an overdose, I was completely shocked by reactions. Almost everyone had suffered or is still suffering from this horrific disease, whether it be them or someone that they love. Growing up, I was always his teacher, his role model, his go-to. I think about all I taught him in the 26 years and I am in awe at how much he has taught me in the last year and a half about myself, and about others. I now celebrate every day. I am no longer in a constant rush. I learned to stop and be still in the moment because the one thing that you can never get back is time. Grief, unfortunately, didn't come with the handbook, but I can certainly tell you what gets me by. I now live for him, a promise I made to him. I know that nothing can take him away from me, not even death. And the only job that I have from now until I see him again is to carry him in my heart and to push myself to be the best person I can possibly be. I chose to pull myself out of a deep depression because that's not how he would want me to live my life. I chose to fight back. For those who have lost a loved one, I am so sorry. And if there is one thing that you can take from this, please let it be that you'll live for them. I know it's hard some days, but push yourself, share your story, make them proud. It's the greatest honor you can give. Thank you.